Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them even as we speak. I believe you, but you called attention to yourself, Mira. And you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. Sarah, you can't mean this. I have too few friends in King's Landing as it is. I'm sorry. I really am. But I just can't anymore. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well... I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. They'll be very grateful. Better go before she sees me. She'll be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. You still angry at me? What do you think? I think I deserve a little gratitude. He's dead. I shouldn't care how it happened. It doesn't feel like I expected. Is that your way of saying thank you? It's the best you're going to get. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out of the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? What does it matter? We completed the mission, as promised. Surely that's what's important. Obeying your queen is what's important. I thought you told me your nephew is a man of honor. But he cannot even take responsibility for his actions. Your Grace. You killed the master, Dezor Zoraza, when I told you his judgment belonged to the slaves of Marine. And now you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. The man was a fucking master! 
He deserved to that die. That was not for you to decide. Not only did you disobey my orders, you are insolent and deceitful. You disappoint me, Forrester. I will not be giving you my second sons. What? But, Your Grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. And you made me promises you did not keep. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. Now get out. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. You have nothing to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen Alliance you've helped forward. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered her, she may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, uh, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south, to join Mance, and the rest of the Free Folk. But, look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me, then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. It happened when we escaped Castle Black. There were men chasing us and- That wound's fresh as can be. Are all crows liars or just him? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. 
I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting more than onions to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Don't know why you'd want this around. Got it. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. 
no way she wasn't going to make it. Where's your mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Oh, well, it's not so bad. Wonder if her mother gave her that. Little Moon. Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. They can try to kill me if they want. I won't let them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Here. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit, then. I think you need more training. Joking. Maybe next time, Garrett. I suppose onions and apples will have to do. What's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. Have you ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about. Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. 
But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. So it is real, then? I didn't say that. But it might be. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your eyes. Damn it! Fuck! Look out! <laughs> 